Cheers, folks. I got myself a cup of coffee. I recommend you get yourself one as well because I have with me the M3 Max MacBook Pro going against a Legion 7i Pro running on the RTX 4080. So both of these will be games uh, that I'll be testing. Actually, not even games. I'm going to be actually just testing Blender and DaVinci Resolve settings with a little bit of Final Cut. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. that's what's going to be in this video. Let's take a look at how it does now. You must excuse me, I think I'm getting sick and my voice is going away. But let's take a look at how these two laptops compare. All right, folks, my voice is feeling better after making this voiceover later in the day. First thing I want to talk about is if we take a look at the scroll functions, this is all done on the trackpad. The M3 Max is surprisingly super smooth here, as you can see uh, scrolling around with the trackpad, whereas for some reason, this is just right out of the box. There might be a setting you could do, but the RTX 4080, which is plugged in, almost seems to be getting 18 frames per second. Nothing that great, where the M3 Max appears to be getting almost 60 or even 120 frames per second while in this editing mode. So that is something to consider. Now, next we get into, I uh, can't really zoom in that much, but essentially what we're doing is we are setting the GPUs to run. The RTX 4080 on the left is a Legion Pro 7i with 32 gigabytes RAM, whereas the M3 Max is the base model, which comes with, I believe, a 36 gigabyte uh, RAM configuration and 30 core GPU. All right, so keep in mind when I first did this test, I'm just showing the raw data, but I hit render at the same time, but I forgot to change the M3 Max on the right to be a GPU compute. So if you look on the bottom left of the window taskbar, I'm going to zoom in here. We can see that how fast it's going, at least from a GPU perspective, using the RTX 4080. And of course, on the left, I have to rerun it because it's just a CPU and I do that later in the video. But take note at how fast that green bar fills in on the RTX 4080. And in fact, it's already done by the time I'm doing a voice recording. So like I mentioned, you do a quick GPU compute change on the right. And now we see the M3 Max um, with the metal rendering at the render speed. So I will say I'm going to speed this up a little bit. But for some reason, on the first time running, it takes a really long time. But I do have some charts to show you where essentially it does take um, around the same time, actually, for both devices. So folks, looking at the charts, we see here that Blender and RTX 4080 runs at 23 seconds, whereas on the M3 Max, I was getting it pretty much running at the same speed at 24 seconds each. So as you can apply by the charts, obviously here I showcase I am unplugging the RTX 4080, and then that's how I got the timing when re-rendering re it, making sure that you know the battery settings are right. I've made previous videos about the RTX 4080 where sometimes it glitches out when unplugging it, um, but I think this is an accurate test in which we showcase it gets to 35 seconds. And of course the uh, M3 Max on the right is unplugged, um, and I did test out doing battery mode with high power and I got about the same results. So no noticeable increase when going to high power mode. Um, just something to consider when doing your testing and I guess deciding between the devices. Folks, this is the next test I did. I believe this is called roto tracking because that's what it's called in Final Cut. I do do a Final Cut test later. But essentially what you do is in DaVinci Resolve, you draw a stroke. It tries to find an image or object. In this case, it's me, the human being. And once you draw that stroke, you could then do tracking backwards and forwards. So this is comparing both Resolve on the same instances, same type of video, seeing the tracking and basically um, this could be used for masking, dynamic masking, or a lot of different things you could do. Um, so I think it's an important uh, testing for people in, in the video editing space. So if you can't read from this zoom in, basically you have around nine frames per second on the left on the RTX 4080, whereas on the right M3 Max, you get two frames per second. So the RTX is actually beating out at three times speed. So depending on what your workflow is, this is something to consider. Um, maybe you just need a desktop device to do this. Um, or you need an RTX 4080 or 4090 that is available on these types of machines on the left on the windows. And I'm simply trying to showcase and verify that Resolve is utilizing GPU slash CPU on the right. So what you could expect at the end is essentially you could see that the mask is red and I'm solo, or you could invert the mask and basically showcase that it is tracking yourself properly. On the left, you could see it has finished 
or is beginning to finish and I stopped it, but essentially it has tracked properly. Whereas on the right on the M3 Max, I'm trying to test some settings, but essentially you can get to the same conclusion that the M3 Max, at least in this configuration, falls behind the RTX 4080. So if you use M-Fusion plugins, which is something I've signed up for, essentially you can see here you draw on the tracking. It, the, the stroke isn't as good as Resolve and actually finding the target, but this does do roto tracking faster, at least than Resolve does. Um, and usually, yeah, uh, it, I'm, sometimes I get confused on how to actually get the this set this window up right now but as you can see just extrapolating i believe it's run it doesn't tell you frames per second like resolve does but you can see it's basically tracking me faster than resolve is so that's something to consider in your workflows if you are on the m3 max you may need to switch over to final cut so the last test we're going to be checking out is the resolve the noise test which you could get in the uh color tab once you go there, I simply set the settings to like all five and better. Um, and when you play back, I was actually checking the audio. It is crispy on both the Resolve and the, sorry, on the RTX 4080 on the left, as well as on the RT, uh, M3 Max on the right. Essentially, when listening to this in the playback, it gets a little choppy, but comparing the frame rates per second, we do have the RTX 4080 on the left running about 48 frames per second sometimes faster, whereas the M3 Max is running at 30 frames per second. So um, if you compare this to my previous content where I made on the M3 Pro, the M3 Max does perform a little better, which is due to the increased cores along with the increased RAM. All right, folks, that has been my testing of the M3 Max versus RTX 4080. As you can see from the charts that I listed, uh, the RTX is still beating the m3 pro and the m3 max um, my previous video i tested with the m3 pro and this one i just picked up the m2 sorry the m3 max so let me turn the iphone around you can see doing a little quick time recording now there are some benefits to having a macbook such as having iphone continuity camera but for the most part um hopefully this pop socket works um yeah things are things are you know, a trade-off if you're going between the M3 Max versus the RTX 4080, you may want to have better performance by going with Windows Gaming Machine, but then you have some things like I could showcase if the iPhone B camera picked it up, the M3 Max actually got pretty loud, louder than the Legion Pro. So that's something to consider. Um, maybe the 16 inch M3 Max has better cooling and so that could have a better performance. Anyways, if you guys like this video, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe if you like some of the other videos you've seen on this channel or this video. Peace.